Hello all, Series Lee's here, back for some more weekend missions, and this weekend we have one of our least favorite missions. We gotta rescue a stranded life form, and oh gosh, we do not want uh, units. Let's see, how long do we have to wait for the refresh? Oh, any second now, uh, any minute now. I got one minute to wait for our rewards to change and our missions to change. We'll have all new missions and rewards in just a second. Ooh, exosuit expansion unit. That'd be nice. Hop up here as the reward, please. Any second. Come on. Change. We should not have to wait too long. There we go. Uh, hey, exosuit upgrade chart. I don't have any of those yet, so that's fun to get. Let's get one of them. Come on. Start mission. There we go. <laughs> We've waffled long enough. This mission takes forever. Uh, unless you can jinx yourself through, you know, Murphy's Law, bad lucking yourself. I don't know if that works, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but this mission can take forever. So. Away we go. Now, hopefully things go smoothly for us gameplay-wise, mechanics-wise. Uh, I had a heck of a time loading into the game. The, the opening star field where it says No Man's Sky and you're flying through space. I saw the same planets go by four times and it took like, I don't know how many minutes. It felt like 10 minutes to get into the game. So hopefully my game's running okay. It seems okay so far. Where are we headed? This way, some way? Over there, huh? Well, we need to go to the actual marker on this one. We have to land at a life form. My guess is we're heading past this thing to the moon. I don't think I've ever had a rescue stranded life form mission on a dead planet, like the one we're passing just now. All right, so we have an approximate location. This is a lost blue planet or moon, so there might be giant mega formations of rocks that we need to wait to spawn in, but we're looking for a crashed ship. Do we see any of those? What's that at the bottom right hand side of my wing there? This Is that a ship? No, but that could be. Looks like a fighter. Oh, come on, game. No, that's a hauler. I'm looking at it backwards. All right, let's find our pilot. Hello, good traveler. Traveler Thermer. Oh, that's a neat head. I don't know if I've seen that head before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. Okay. Hadn't seen it from the side before. So, we are looking for that right there, first of all. But let's uh, target this one, because that's pretty close, too. And we'll, we'll just be able to see this one. So, let's see what we get. We do have the... Uh, yeah, it's telling us to actually scan, so we can pick this up now, and it won't just be a regular technology module. There we go. Encrypted control unit. So what I like to do is, before I open that up, head to my next one. Dig it out, or to be accessible at least. Now, let's find another one. Target that. That's 318. What do we got? Anything better? 379, I think 318 is probably going to be our best bet. All right, that's our next one. So the reason I like to do that is because it won't go into the scanner sweep mode if we already have one in our inventory. So we can just look around like normal, target our next one by eye. We don't have to wait for it to say nothing in range, even though we can clearly see them in range. Uh, so let's analyze this one. Maybe we'll get lucky right away. 
<laughs> yep. Yeah, we did. Looks like I jinxed myself. Give it a try. Uh, I don't know if you have to record yourself and, and, you know, get it on recording that you jinxed yourself. I don't know if that's the key. <laughs> but that's all we had to do. We didn't even have to dig up that second one, the one right by this guy's ship. If this guy just built a terrain manipulator, he could have done this himself. Ah, no, I guess he's got to go get it decrypted, and he can't fly anywhere. So, yeah, he, he would be SOL. Let's go fly to our decryption terminal. I saw it marked over here. Oh, there's our Mega Floras. Let's not crash into those. How far away is this thing? Ten seconds? No problemo. Now, over here, we're going to have to kill some corrupt sentinels. But oftentimes, I find uh, they're very incompetent corrupt sentinels that don't fight back. So, shouldn't be a problem at all. Corrupt sentinels are also very easy compared to normal sentinels. Pulse spitter. Let's do a reload. See, that gets, that gets their attention, but they don't actually shoot usually. See, they still haven't started shooting me. Now, usually there's a second wave, but it looks like they've modified this mission, so there's only one wave of Corrupt Sentinels now. Which is a shame, because you used to be able to get eight salvaged glass from those things. <laughs> oh well. This mission was super fast. I have no reason to complain about anything we had to do today. This was super easy. Hopefully you guys all have this much luck. Uh, let's check out the weather while we're here. It says all-consuming cold, but I believe that's a non-hazardous non weather type. No sentinels no, at all, except corrupt ones. Yeah, I didn't see any aggressive creatures. I didn't check, but we didn't run across any. All right. Well, let's fly back to our stranded pilot and hand him this unit, and that sounds bad, but, well, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a decrypted control unit, was it called? Communicator control? I can't remember. It might say in the mission log. Let's check. It just says replacement ship component. Well, yes, thanks for, yeah. It was on screen at some point. I wouldn't have unit in my head otherwise, would I? <laughs> Don't answer that. Whee! Let's land on a ship. Alright, a little bit past it. Don't sit down, buddy. I'm about to, to make your day. Yeah, see? Communicator control unit. I knew I remembered it from somewhere. All right, there you go, buddy. Mission complete. Life form rescued. Let's go get our reward. And I don't think I'll use that map right now. I'm going to put that in storage and figure out what it does later. <laughs> I think it just detects drop pods. But uh, we'll find out. We'll find out at some point. Wee. All right, return to the space anomaly. Yeah, I'm already there. All right, reward, complete mission. There we go, 1,800 Quicksilver exosuit upgrade chart. Let's check this because uh, that looks like a new meter. Looks like an unfilled meter. It looks like one giant bar. What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, I'm interested. Oh, a new cloak. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. Really, I wonder what colors we'll be able to change on it. 
Uh, hopefully the purple and the gold will be editable at least. I don't mind if the black has to stay black, but that's really cool looking. Yeah, we're definitely going to use that on a character as soon as it unlocks. All right. Once again, we're complete. We didn't buy anything there. We have a save game made. We can just quit right here. <laughs> that's it for this week. Hope you guys have just as easy a time as I did with this mission, rescuing a stranded life form. But until next time, have a good time.